and I had a bonding conversation last night, so I'm not going to yell at him. A bonding conversation? Yeah. He called to see how he said he missed me, and I was in shock, and then I was talking to him. We were talking about some personal stuff. You know, it was good. He's a good dude, Gary. He is a good dude. Yeah. But, you know. Nobody said no. <laughs> it's just very rare that any of us actually talk to one another in any real way, you know, and it's a little disconcerting. I know. For a while, you can't do your thing. Yeah. like Because <laughs> you're seeing them as outside, a person outside of this. You know what? Gary was opening up, and I'm sitting there going, shit, uh -oh. it's fucking 8.30. Uh -oh. I go, it's 8.30. <laughs> is this going to be an hour session? I want to watch The Biggest Loser on tape, and I want to watch... Um, a survivor, I had to catch up, and I'm like, oh shit, I really meant to hear him what he has to say, but it's fucking 8 30. But you, you opened up first. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. I opened up. Howard said something last night that was really interesting because it, he defined our relationship perfectly. He said, we have the closest, most distant relationship that, you know, right, we have a close, right. distant relationship. We see each other every day, but no one really knows anybody. Right. Right. No. I th that's all of us. Yeah. No. I called him yesterday. It was the gayest thing. Did he tell you? I called him because I missed him. I've I'd done spoken, that before. I've spoken. I, I realized I hadn't spoken to you in like in 10 days. It was I had no weird. idea anybody ever misses me. <laughs> oh, please. I've called you before on vacation sometimes. But to show you how vapid I am as a human being, uh -huh. the whole time I'm sitting and having this great conversation with Gary, I'm like, shit, I want to. He's in my way. I could be, I'm talking on the phone. I could be watching The Biggest Loser. Well, you I know, have that dilemma with just about everybody. I tell people I'm going to call them, right. and then I say, but I could do this, or I could do that, and I never get around to calling. I have that, too, with people. I go, I could call this guy, or I could do heroin. Yeah. What the fuck oh, am I going to do? You know. But Heroin. Yeah, exactly. Heroin, heroin wins every wins time. It's every won every time, time. Yes. even when it's like a close relative. <laughs> but it's funny you say that, because uh, last week I overheard Shuli and JD saying they're from out of town. They had nowhere to go for Thanksgiving, so oh. I invited them over for my uncle's at Thanksgiving. Eat. <laughs> You're kidding. So, Did yeah. they come? JD, of course, JD couldn't come, and I said, what'd you do? He goes, I just didn't do anything. I sat <laughs> home. I said, well, you could have fucking come and ate, and Shuli ended up coming. Uh -huh. and Shuli, Shuli's a chazer. Yes, what? Shuli no, he, show up. he was fine and everything. We had a great time. We talked to Thanksgiving, and I said to myself, <laughs> after Thanksgiving, I said, because uh, that means Shuli saw a movie together. We had like a gay Thanksgiving <laughs> together. Uh, and I said, I know Shuli better than almost everyone else I work with. <laughs> <laughs> but that won't Sorry. last. That won't last. <laughs> no, no uh, was Dana at Thanksgiving? Uh, no. But Shuli was. Shuli was there. There was a gay moment. I'm fucking Shuli. <laughs> Are we officially done with Dana? Yes. Oh, oh come on. We've been officially <laughs> done before. I, I, I don't, we're on a million tangents this morning. I don't know what you want to do. There's a lot to talk about. It's more official than ever. Uh, well, how so? She's well, seen someone? Flying vase. This weekend. She's seen someone. This weekend. Then I'll know it's over. This weekend in Atlantic City. For yeah. the first time in for the first time in almost five years, I had sexual intercourse with someone other than Dana. Oh. Oh. I guess it is over. Yes, it's over. Congratulations. Yeah. How'd you meet the girl? Now, congratulate Dana because she's Shuley? finally out of my shit. <laughs> it was a woman. <laughs> oh, so now it's officially over. Did yeah, you tell yeah. Dana you had sex? No, but no. she we broke up before very officially before this right. on the phone. And uh, was she there. was supposed to go to Atlantic City with you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, you that. officially broke up over the phone. Is that the way you do it now? Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, They've it just broken up in person on the phone. They've, They've been done it everywhere. Up. This was a year this of was torture. A year of torture. It was a for, tour for mostly her. But you know what? It's healthy. They really, uh, they really know they're over. I guess. I gotta yes. know. I gotta know the answer to this question. The he girl... fucked someone. Uh, how much? How much is a whore? Well, he fucked before. Yeah. Was it, it was a whore? Not what did it a cost hooker. You? How'd you meet her? It was not a guy. I, I, I actually you met her over the kid. summer, and she she had come to a show of mine over the summer at the Borgata and was like, she was with some people that night, but she made it very clear that she, she you know, liked me in that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh... She gave me a phone number that I never threw out, and oh. I, ended up, I ended up calling her, and she was nearby. And, you said, and she was nearby? Yes. And you said, hey, why don't you come down to Atlantic City, hang out? Yeah. Nice. Were you working down there? I forget. No, I went no? to go see... Uh, my buddy turned 40, so uh, he's a huge Stones and Who fan. Uh, the Borgata, first of all, God, thank you guys. What a fucking place the Borgata is. Just go there and enjoy it. Did because... you fuck your brains out? Uh, <laughs> did, is the room well, still Well, I'm a little heavy standing? now. No, but I mean, did you, like... It was, it was the first time. It was very quick. Yeah, uh, I, I know the feeling. You was understanding. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there was a morning thing. It doesn't even matter how many rubbers you wear. You just blow right. off a load. Yeah. Well, was... I imagine him like, you know, when you let the air out of a balloon, it flies all over the room. Yeah. <laughs> Putting a rubber on it this size is not fun, I'll tell you that. I'm like, honey, is it on? <laughs> Can you help me? Artie, is there any, like, pretense of, like, is there dinner or stuff, or is it just straight to the fucking room? 
It was very clandestine in a way because I, I, I you know, look, uh, at the Borgata, uh, <laughs> it's like ground zero for our fans right. there, too. So. Oh, so you're trying to get her in without being seen? Uh, sort of, in a way, sort of. I don't Your know. Your code name is <laughs> Mrs. Audie Lang. Here, put on this hat. <laughs> Your code name is Fat Guy Relief. Get in this burka. Was it Lisa uh, Lampanelli? I know you two are really you, tight. She likes you in that way. That, uh, that's so was the chick an hot? excellent sitcom, by the way. Was the chick hot already? Uh, I think she She's hot. I mean, look, compared to what I should be with, I think she's a solid eight and a half. Nice. Yeah. Nice for you. Nice. She's one of those chicks who shows up at a show where you go, wow, I can't believe this is a possibility. And then, you know, now, is this is um, this any sort of relationship, or is it clear for both of you that this was... No, no, no. It, I, I, actually, I told her, I said, look, I, I, I can't tell you what to do in your life. I don't know what's going on. I gave her Jason's work number. I said, you want to call it? <laughs> I said, they're probably going to want to talk to you, but she goes, I don't know if I want to. I said, call did him you, if you want. While you were it. fucking, did you call Dana during it? No, I did not. Oh. Where's mine? Oh. They took my megaphone. No, it's right up there, Artie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Wait, wait, wait. Let him, let him show. Wait, 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 this is too good. All right. Hello? Who's this? Hey! It's Audie! I'm fucking! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, Artie! What are you doing? Oh! Fucking a whore right now! Not a whore! I'm joking. All right, what? I'm fucking a nice girl right now. That's worse than fucking a whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Dana's dealt with yeah. the whore fucking. Yeah, I thought you were being nice by saying she was a whore. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? You think uh, you, you jumping into another relationship? No, no, no. Now, she, what she about knows that. that girl who won the, the date? God, she's adorable. I, she's been on my mind constantly. Really? Oh, she's adorable. You I love that girl. You haven't called her, though. I no, almost I beat off to her last night. You get out I swear. <laughs> Oh, now really you're ruining it. <laughs> that chick was hot that I set you up with. She, uh, no, I've been thinking about her. I haven't Very called cute. her, but she's, yeah. she's wow. as adorable wow. as adorable. And then get. what about that girl who was here that time who gave you a number? You got a lot of Oh, I got numbers. a whole lineup. Uh, oh, no yeah. wonder you lost weight over Thanksgiving. Now I get it. You're yeah, a ladies' lost man. It I, I, I said I got to lose <laughs> no, some of this. He, he doesn't want to be naked <laughs> yeah, in front of these I chicks. I said I got to lose some of this. athletic in that room. I'll tell you what happened. Did you leave your shirt on when you fucked this broad? Yeah, yes, I did. He left everything on. Did she say to you, Artie, take your shirt off? And you I left like, on my Artie Lang's Beer League shirt. <laughs> did you? Did you? That's good. That's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> I made him. I want to remind you that I've made a movie. At the beginning of the week, it was a little like, I don't know, it could go either way. So I saw the Stones the first weekend, and then when nice. I was going back to see the Who, I said, stuff happened in between where, okay, this is definitely over. And I said, I got to lose some of this bloat. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you're ready to <laughs> lose weight. I'm glad you're single for one reason. For it's your gonna, health. Yeah, because you, 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 I know him. He, he is not going to want to be. This relationship was killing you. When me and Dana got back from the Caribbean and we started this year-long fight, I went into this <laughs> awful hibernating eating <laughs> Blues fucking. Uh, you know what you got to do? I swear to you, you got to watch The Biggest Loser. It is so inspirational. No, I, watch dude, it. I it inspires like, you to lose weight. These guys are all ripped now. Believe me. And they're bigger than you. Pussy. You're a lightweight. Pussies isn't big enough inspiration to lose weight. I mean, you got to, you got to, um, this, is, this is why I lost that. I pounds. honestly, could, uh, to be honest with you, the, the broads is one thing, but I couldn't fucking, like, I basically know what it's like to be 300 pounds now. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Though. So, yeah, you got the broad. She's a nice girl. It's just nice, yeah, you know. Uh, Have you uh, talked to her since uh, you screwed her yeah. brains out? Yes. <laughs> Look at you, with the screwing the brains out. I don't know out. if I screwed anybody's brains out. But... Look at you. Uh, Let me see yeah. you. No wonder you're all happy. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, you came back here, new man. Young love, man. Well, How old the girl are we talking? <laughs> she's uh, she's 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 thirty-ish, I guess. Yeah. She'll say. Nice. Yeah, she she never really. She said she's thirty-ish to me. She didn't and tell she, me. What did you do? What mm. positions did you? Uh... You heard it, sixty-nine. We did fourteen. <laughs> the position where I lay there. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fourteen? Gosh, she was fourteen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> What, uh, yeah, you, how many positions? Just, you know, the, the very stuff. basic. I, I've never, I don't know, I don't Only get fetishes missionary? by people. I mean, I don't get people missionary. with the fetishes and shit. Did like, you get to lay on your to back? To me, nothing feels better than fucking abroad in a missionary position. But yeah, I let him, you know. What are you talking about, doggy style? Well, you know. That's, yeah, a, that's that, the best that position I've, there is. That I've done before. What, what you didn't do that this weekend? You no. You did the... Well, there wasn't any good games on. Doggy style, you could watch the game. <laughs> I don't, it was, you know, it was whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's not in her you, top ten sections. How many times? How many times? Uh, to, to, 
three. Nice. Once, once the night before. Because, well, twice the night before. Maybe four with a photo finish. Look at you, brother. <laughs> four times. <laughs> but in two and like a, two a night span. sleeping and then a morning. Right. Thing. Good That's for you. That's nice. I'm glad to hear this. Because you know what? I love Dana. Don't get me wrong. So do I. And but this, I, uh, it was killing you, man. This it was back killing and forth her. It was killing, killing her. her. You know what happened? We had we had one thing where we came up for air one last time. It was pretty much done. And then on my birthday, which was in October, she wrote me a real nice letter. And I said, fuck it. We're going to try this one more time. Then I had a bunch of gigs on the road. I was in L.A. And, and then her birthday came up. And I... As soon as I got Carnegie Hall, I said, I'm going to do that because I saw it was her birthday. I said, we're together. I'm going to get that to happen. So When the people all sang happy birthday. Wow. You know, and she was into that. And, and, yeah. then, uh, and then afterwards, I respect her so much. She stuck to her guns. I was like, I thought maybe I'd get away with not having to go to therapy. Oh, she was still sticking to that. And she was like, you know. I admire that. She's like, no, you, you know, th there's really stuff that has to be fixed here. And, and I said, you know what? They, I finally said, it wasn't even like a loud argument. I said, uh. I feel like I'm getting pushed into doing something I don't want to do. I'm, I might resent you for that. I'm not ready to do this therapy thing. I don't want to do it. And I respect you for sticking to your guns with this. But if it's probably a done deal at this point. And she agreed. So that was it. Did uh, you show this new girl your new watch, that $12,000 watch? Oh, she saw it a bunch yeah, of times. she must yeah. have loved that. Well, that's what he leads with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stare at my watch. <laughs> I, I put my wrist in front of my face and say, hello, honey. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Knows how to play it. Although I had a so you kept your shirt on. Did you? Did you? How far undressed do you get? Yeah, like what else do you leave on? Not that, like maybe a. I'm sock. just gonna slide my underpants to the side. <laughs> now I'm so fat, I take off my socks without bending. I rub oh, them. Oh, you you put you put the toe in the, the top. No, I don't like want... a, like a praying mantis. I, yeah, I don't even put the toe on the top, Rob, because that means you gotta cross your legs. I rub the sock until it comes <laughs> off. Oh, you the... I rub it on the rug until oh, it comes no. off, and sometimes it rips like oh, I'm going geez. I'm going through socks. <laughs> And that on the road, making... it's so depressing. I'm in the now best. that I've never heard of. Wait, the best Western Argy, why are you fucking me? I have to rub my sock off. <laughs> You're like a cricket. You rub your socks on the floor until they fall off. That's how I do it now, yeah, yeah. which is a new plateau for me. And what are you wearing as, as uh, underwear? Do you wear, like, boxers I've got, at this I have, I have, I have uh, boxers. Yeah. You're so resourceful. No, no, briefs. I wear briefs. briefs. You, I wear you wear briefs? briefs? Where do you get briefs big enough? <sighs> I got briefs. I don't know. They, 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 I can't yeah. wear briefs. Tech, the pants I have on now technically are 36s, but they're span, you know, there's that thing. You got the maternity pants. <laughs> you're like a cricket, man. You rub your feet together and your socks fall off. <laughs> That's the coolest. You know, you're so resourceful. You know, hey, you got to do it. You do what you got to do. Well, good for you. I man. mean, what does a girl do while you're rubbing your socks? She waits. It's like Viagra. You, you take her, it and you say, listen, you have to hold on for five minutes. I tell her, have a little champagne, honey. Does Everything she, will be fine. Does you she know make what out with no. you? No. You know what they normally do? This they will vomit. Be over no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on over there? While you're rubbing your feet together, I'll go vomit. <laughs> I'll take care of something, too. Yeah, a little champagne. Dana, I love when I rub my socks together. Well, honey, I'm somebody different. Would you I'm stop new. bringing up Dana? Did you almost call her Dana a couple of times? Yeah. Tell the truth. That can happen. Uh, uh, no. If, no. And Dana didn't cross your mind? Yeah, well, you know, yeah, sure, a little yeah. bit. Why not? I'll of tell you something. You're fucking a new broad. You ever oh, you're for your, if you're a man, you don't think about any broad. You well, the well, after five years, it. Robin, I got to the point yeah. where I stopped thinking about Dana when I was fucking Dana. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time oh you might start my. thinking about it. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Oh, of course. But Com will she comedy's wind first. Up Dana knows I'm in love with the lady comedy first. Will she wind up in his Rolodex of women when he's sure. rubbing one out? Oh, you mean Dana? Sure, yeah. eventually. Yeah. yeah. She got my assistant's number, this girl. Is that right? <laughs> she doesn't have your home number. Also, talk about, a, talk about a gig to get when you're single. I'm finalizing this. I just got offered doing stand-up at a private party at the Playboy Man. <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh, on the grotto, 200 supposed like heavy hitter corporation guys spent like uh, I don't know how many thousands for each ticket, and I'm the MC of the night. And, and are they gonna have bunnies just running around? I, I, who's, bunnies. Gonna, who's gonna get us drinks? <laughs> but uh, there's supposed to be a couple of good bands too. They wouldn't tell me the name of the band doing yeah. it, but it's like one of those private functions. Nice. Bands, those guys get sucked off before you do. <laughs> no, I. There better be an abundance of girls. There better be a broad for the MC. Right. Right, there better be more women than men, right? But it's a good amount of money, too, you know, so it's... Uh, uh, bonus. I've never been in the Playboy Mansion before. I might have to go with you, make sure you're in Wait a minute, you trouble. weren't with us when we went? I was a year before I got there. Uh, Big yeah. mistake. I remember watching the E! Show with Benji going in the grotto, yeah. the pool. But no, I missed That was six it. years ago.
Yeah, I've, I've been I here five years. No. Exactly five years. A couple of weeks ago is my fifth anniversary. Happy anniversary. Artie, i got to take a break. This is congratulations to you. I still haven't told you my Ed Bradley story. We haven't finished the Michael Richards tapes. Well, I was going to get into it, but, I mean, we go off on tangents here. Well, yeah, I mean, there's everything. That's it. No, it's, I mean, That's look, I, right. whatever. I mean, Good for you, pal. And Dana, I love you to death, and I wish you but nothing but the best. But he won't go to therapy for you. No, nah, it's not that. It's not that. It's deeper than that. It's like, she's. What do you mean it's deeper? That was it. I, I don't know. I, I think she's she's going to be better off without me. I'm I'm positive. Well, oh. especially since you won't go to therapy. Yes. Especially your fucking other girls. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Now I, I again, you always over. say, like, Dana could fucking, you know, you talk about us with broads. And Dana could walk into a bar and throw a rock and just fuck the first guy in. That's so, true. She, she ain't going to worry about that. But right. I, mean, I don't know. You know. yeah, but I hope nobody gets hit with a rock and a bar tonight in church. <laughs> <laughs> Dana could be fucking by but 11 a.m. you're officially putting the Chicks nail in like the that. coffin by announcing you've had sex with I someone think this, else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what? I mean, I don't think Dana's got a little bit too much pride to come back after this, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, but it was a, it was a very, uh, you know, calculated thing in that I said, well, if I do it and that happens, I'm going to say it, and that's it's over, you know. And, and All right, well, I look forward to meeting your you. new girlfriend here. There's no I, girlfriend. I think no, that no. it's time for you two to move on. There's no new girlfriends. Actually, though, meeting you is one of the stipulations of her fucking me, so you don't mind, right? Maybe I would more. like to. Oh, well, she's right outside. <laughs> I would love to. Let's bring her in. <laughs> I, I happen to have a card on me. <laughs> this is so Fred, awful. Fred, how are you taking the news? Artie and Dana officially over with Artie I, I fucking? Knew, you know what I find interesting? He just kind of slid that by there and nobody called him on it. He saved the number of the girl that he had met. I did. I admit to that. Oh, he's yeah. been saving numbers. He's told us yeah, that before. Yeah, but I mean, if you're serious about, like, going back with somebody... Oh, uh, Fred, let's be realistic. Yeah, but let's, I know, this is how a I guy know. thinks, though. I, I admit to thinking, I like, know. a dude who's like, okay, I'm on the rocks. This chick was very good-looking. Look, Mary and I'm like, collect numbers. Are you kidding? I always have a draw full <laughs> numbers why have somebody that, dumps me. But why have that temptation? But I understand. You're right. You're right. And I wish already the well, best. Well, you know, it's funny, too. I wish already and Dana the best. Guys who don't save numbers are gay. <laughs> That's why. Look, I, I look, uh, nothing let me throw this number away for some reason. She's sexy this broad. Oh, I bet. Uh, she And, uh, you know, I, I was like, fuck it. I, uh... Who she look like? Carmen Electra? Um, does she look like Dana? <laughs> she looks like Dana. Oh, shit. Uh, no, you know, who does she look like? I think, uh... You know, I thought she, she looked like... She looks like uh, a young Lauren Hutton. Oh, I she like really that. does. I the think. space yeah. between her teeth? Not, not that, but no, her eyes and her her facial thing. Yeah, I like. I like, very sophisticated I, look. I, I wasn't. Well, she doesn't talk like Lauren Hutton. <laughs> shoot your Lauren, <laughs> picture Lauren Hutton with an insanely annoying Philly accent. <laughs> Did you shoot your load all over her ass? <laughs> all over her ass? No, no, I'm asking too personal. It was all over Lauren Hutton with Bukaki uh, I don't want to know. Face. I don't want. That's between I you two. I shot a load all over the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> You shot your load on yourself. <laughs> it was an accident. Well, good for you. Oh, my. I think my sperm look out the, 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 the hole of my cock and go, can we make it past the stomach? <laughs> well, there's Artie. It's the new Artie. Artie, a free man. I knew, you know what? I shouldn't have bothered weighing him. I didn't realize he was with the new Ready Trump. Ready to wow. paint the town. Ladies, lock up your daughters. God Guarantee you. Guy loses 60 pounds in the next two oh, months. Yeah. Two weeks. Yep. He's God forbid look, I get under 230, girls. You're in trouble. He's going to look like Lance Armstrong. He'll be able to chase you. He's going to be out hey, biking. You know what would be funny? Hey, this biking stuff is pretty good. If we <laughs> hooked up with Matthew McConaughey and Lance Armstrong, he was the third musketeer. Yeah, Artie's, Artie's hanging around with Matthew McConaughey. I'm fucking Cheryl Crow. Fred's like, I can't, <laughs> Fred's like, I can't believe he, he, he saved that number. I didn't. A shovel wouldn't put a dent in the stack of numbers. I Are you kidding? I got numbers from Boston University. Well, that's what I'm saying. Every guy give, collects give a few numbers. Artie. Yeah, there's a new diet pill out. It's called New Pussy. That's where Artie's new diet pill is. All right, I got to take a break. You might hear me about doing repeat gigs in Pittsburgh and Cleveland soon. Uh -huh. <laughs> Artie, you've officially broken up with Dana. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. We broke up. I had sex with a chick that's not her, so she's not into that. So I'm sure we're broken up. So we, that, we broke up before. I'm not a heel. We broke up officially after a long time, and uh, a chick in Atlantic City hung a curveball over the plate, and I turned on it, hit a home run down the left field line. What did it feel like actually going through with it? Because all this time you guys have been going back and forth, you never actually hooked up with another girl. Now you have. It felt amazing. And uh, do you have a message for the single ladies in the... Uh... Yes. Start doing uh, a lot of work on your abs, because I like tight abs on a girl, okay? And you're back on the scene. Yes, I'm back on the scene. All if right, you don't man. have tight abs, I'm not even looking at you. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm Willa Farter. I'm here today to propose to my girlfriend. My girlfriend knows absolutely nothing about it. 
I think it's pretty funny because she uh, thinks that we're here for a dating game, but I've been, uh, been telling her, well, I've been telling her everything, every excuse possible why there's no people here right now. So I know for a fact that she's going to be shocked and it's probably going to be, it's probably going to make her really happy. And hopefully uh, everything will go well. I just want to honor a, a huge uh, friend of the show, uh, a great guy, what to me one of the biggest stars of this show. Will the fart is here with his girlfriend. He wanted to bring her in and say oh. hello. And I love this kid. This guy is so phenomenal. I got to give him his props and let him come in here and just say hi to the fans and let his girlfriend see the place. I didn't even know First he had a girlfriend. He's bringing a girl with him? I want to meet the lucky woman who gets to be with this guy. Look at this guy. I love this guy. I want to meet the lucky girl who gets to hang out with Will the Farter. <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, Howard. Give your girlfriend a microphone, too. Why not? You are one lucky broad. What's your name? Erica. Erica. How long have you been going out with this genius? Uh, about three and a half years. Did you know who he was when you first met him? No. <laughs> when did you find out he could fart the way he does? Uh, I think he told me probably like three or four months after we started going out. Were you grossed out like most girls by this, or did you recognize, like, wow, this guy's awesome? He actually did it at his cousin's house first on some, like, drunk guy's face, and I thought it was hilarious. Give us an example. Hey, Will, where are you going? We need, you need a microphone for this guy. You don't know that? No, I'm ready to go. You, you should get together and work for 60 minutes. <laughs> you don't know anything here. What's the matter with you? How are you, Will? Just fine. How are you? Good, good to see you, and uh, always an honor. An honor to be in your presence. Uh, thank you. I've never heard such farting. H give everyone an example, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Thank you. And look how your girlfriend loves you. You're right in her face. I was going to say, does she mind being that close? Listen to this. As long as it doesn't smell. Wow. <laughs> you should have been at the Ed Bradley Memorial. Yeah, yeah they didn't Instead of went in my solace. Like this is what we're going to do at your memorial. Please. Will. <laughs> Yes. The day I go, if they have a memorial service for me, instead of Wynton Marsalis walking down playing when the Saints come marching in, why don't you just fart right down the aisle? I'll be there. You are so spectacular. I notice when you fart, you put your ass almost in your girlfriend's face. And oh. she just is so proud of you. Poor Erica. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been closer before, I tell you the truth. Have you ever really? farted in her face? You farted yeah. on her? Why does he fart in your face? How does that all occur? He actually just came in to say goodnight to me one night, and he decided he was going to fart on my face. <laughs> Did you like it, or you didn't care? <laughs> no. no. I was no. pretty mad at him. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. That wow. didn't go over well. How no. long have you two kids been going out? Uh, three years, yeah, yeah, three, three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. You ever get jealous because he's Will the Farter, and, like, you know, he could have any girl he wants probably with that kind of talent? Uh, no, not really. He's yeah. good to me. <laughs> You're, d you're dating the Mozart of the Howard Stern show. <laughs> yeah. I hate to tell you. So you, you, the first time you saw him do this, there's a couple of months you were going out with him. Yeah. And you were at a party, you said. Yeah, and, at his cousin's house. And he just, like, all of a sudden, and we were like, wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, the guy was totally passed out drunk on the floor. And he was like, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 it was your cousin, you say, or just a, a friend? It, it was some, his name is Grimsley. And, and he was passed much, out. Well, we were feeding him beers pretty much, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, for a 30-pack, you know, you can do whatever whatever you want. Right. And I started farting in his face, and then he finally got drunk, and me and my cousin were taking turns farting on him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I wish I'd been there. Is yeah. your cousin a good farter, too? Uh, well, he can't do what I can do, but his absolutely stink. Yeah. Oh. They're very they're very nasty. Not so. too many guys can do what Will does. Yeah. So, so, so you thought it was funny. Instead of getting grossed out and saying this guy's an asshole, you recognize how great it is. Yeah. You're a special girl. I like that. <laughs> well, you know, it's sort of like Billy, Billy Joel was dating a chick for a few months, and all of a sudden they're at a party with a piano, and he goes, watch this. Watch this. And then you see what he can do, and you fall in love all over again. It's like a superpower. Yeah. Have you tried to learn this? Ability? Have you ever said to Will, gee, I would like to learn how to do this? No, no. I give him all the credit for the no. farting. Give, me a, give of... me a blast right now. I got to hear one. Will, give me the best one you can muster up. Right <laughs> that on your girlfriend. Pretty good, that first one. I want to hear one more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> you could go to any party and win everyone over. Because there's a lot so, of people. He's, the life oh, of everybody. Oh. He's, he's still going. He's still going right on his girlfriend. <laughs> Will is a stink. Will Murray is a stink. 
No. He's actually not bad is. today. It's not bad today? <laughs> does he ever blast you one like when you're in, under the covers, the Dutch oven concept? Yeah. He does. Yeah, he actually woke me up one night because the smell was so bad. Wow. That was awful. <laughs> Well, well, uh, it's great seeing you. I understand you wanted to say something uh, about the show, or you wanted to uh, make a statement of some sort. Do you know what the statement is? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Do what you is your know name he again? had something he wanted to say here? He was making a statement today. Yeah, Erica. No. Did you know what is your statement? Well, well, I'll tell you the truth. Oh, I'm stuck. Keep your <laughs> headphones on, please. Nice. Oh my goodness. Well, hold on a second. What? No. <laughs> It's like the Jerry Springer first, show. He's going to tell well, you. I got to loosen up first. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, he's going to fart. He's going to fart on you. Right there. Ronnie, wait. Ronnie, wait. <laughs> fucking retard. Ronnie, okay, is, run, 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 let the guy fart. He wants to fart on his girlfriend. Go ahead. Oh, oh boy. Why don't you just say what you have to say? Okay. Forget the yeah, fart. Yeah, because now he's nervous. Yeah, go ahead and say something. It's all clinched up. <laughs> I just want to know, uh, we've been together for three years, <laughs> and uh, I was wondering if you want to marry me. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Will is taking a bribe. She said yes. <laughs> she wants her partner. Bravo. Mrs. Farter. It's Erica Mrs. the Farter. Mrs. Will the Farter. It's official. It's Erica the There's, Farter. You are on Erica one knee. Farter. Will is on one knee. <laughs> Oh, and he they're is, still hugging. They're hugging, I, I believe. Think we've got... Oh, she's turning red. <laughs> she's turning red. You would, too. Look who she's marrying. <laughs> Crying out loud. Superman is getting married. A, lot of, doctors, a, lane. a lot of doctors wanted Will to marry a queefer so they could have a super sort of gas... <laughs> well, you know, I was just sitting there wondering to myself, does she, you know, her kids might be born with Erica, this. you look shocked. Tell me what's going through your mind. No, he told me we were going out for a dating show. <laughs> A dating show? Yeah. What do you mean? He, he was going to go on a date? Uh, he said that we were going on for a contest. I see. <laughs> well, did you expect to be asked uh, to be married? No. no. Really? <laughs> this was a complete surprise. Is he a romantic guy or what? He did it right here on the Howard Stern <laughs> yeah. Show. Well, I am honored to be a part of this historic moment. May you have many little farters. Yep. Did you your... ask her father permission? No. <laughs> Not yet. Did you fart her that. hand in marriage? The father must be thrilled. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be it's going to be tough. What really? guy wouldn't be why is yeah. he going to be tough? You're will the farter. Well, there's a lot of little things to go with it. Just He doesn't see it that way. It, it, well, he you, can, you have more you can explain more. It's just does he have a problem with you the father? I, I would say it's more of the religious factor. Oh, what really? Yeah. What's the religion? Oh, my yeah. parents are pretty conservative. There's, what are they? They what don't are like they? him. What are you? What, what, Mormon. What, yeah. what are you, a Mormon? Yeah. What, what, what the hell's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying it's, it's, it just seems like it's, it's a lot tougher to win his approval. What's Erica? No, it wouldn't well, she's, be. She's Mormon. I'm, 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 what are you? You're, I'm agnostic. He's a farter. What you're are you regular? Jewish? Farter. Are you a Jew? No. no. What are no. you? What's agnostic? What he were you born? He doesn't even believe in born Catholic, really. but I don't born really Catholic. Yeah. But I, I, well, I don't know. It just, it just seems like it's... That's his problem with Will the Farter, that no. you're not religious? No, Will's just, yeah, he's, well, uh, I just, I mean, he's just nervous paranoid. about it, but my parents has, like him. Has he ever met your parents? Yeah, yeah a couple times. Okay. Do you ever show him you can fart? No, they, they, they will not <laughs> know well, What are you keeping that a secret? <laughs> I told him he should tell him, but... <laughs> no. Of course gonna you tell. should tell him. I'm not going to tell him He's going to say, he's going to hear ka-ching, man. <laughs> <laughs> with every fart, you'll hear ka-ching. You'll be the first farting Mormon if you convert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you thinking of converting? No, no. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I gotta, are you really agnostic? Is that really what you tell people when they ask well, your religion? I, I believe there's something out there, but I don't believe I don't believe at all that there's like, you know, well, I just believe there's something out there. I don't Who know even knew you had beliefs? I just thought you farted. Oh, yeah. That's a fart guy. I know that. Right, because an atheist yeah. believes there's definitely no God at all, but an agnostic believes we haven't seen God yet. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah, correct. Well, well I Will the Farter on God. I mean, yeah, right. Will the Farter talking about listen, God. And, and you listen because he's the yeah. Farter. Well, Will, this is unbelievable. Erica, will you take on the name Erica the Farter or will wow. you just be? Uh, I'll be his psychic. Psychic. Wow. Well, I <laughs> nice. tell you something. If anyone believe, should believe in God, it's you. You've gotten a gift from God. The way you fart, if You've I could do blessed. that, I would just I would just be so thrilled. I would go on tour. 
I can't believe Will could Will the Farter could make his relationship work and I couldn't. Yeah, you somehow couldn't even uh, pull that off. He's well. You really love this girl, huh? Yeah, I really do. I I never been with a girl longer than she. Had. And, you know, we get along great. How old are you? Me? Yeah, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. How old and are you, Erica? Erica? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. You're young kids, but I see great things here. I see she loves you. All right. The way she was, you were farting right on her, and she just she didn't just move. <laughs> Will, when did you discover your talent? Probably, when I, I think I was around ten. Yeah. And I was looking under, under my couch for some change. Uh huh. And this air went right in, <laughs> and I just blew it back out. I noticed when I took baths, that would it, it would just open up. <laughs> you know, it was just Amazing. the weirdest thing. Wow. So. God, so you're... when your child is born, your son, hopefully it'll be a son. Well, I hope that if I do have a son, he'll be born with an asshole because I wasn't. So. Oh, you're kidding. Is that true? Yeah, it's, it's, I was born. I, I don't know if there's a condition for it, but I did not, I did not have the, the whole. whole. Yeah. So maybe that's where your abilities come from. Well, I, have, I actually see other people who have this. And well, how'd you get an asshole, though? Well, you, I guess doctors went to college to figure out how to cut an asshole out. I don't know. Wow. They, they, did you have all the connections from your duty so that the duty can flow out of your asshole? Or did you have to create I, 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 that, I, I, too? reworked the plumbing. A did doctor they? literally yeah. ripped you words, a new asshole. You not only didn't have an asshole, but there was nowhere for Nothing, the duty to go. No I, I, I had a colostomy for, like, two, I think, I don't know, a year or two. Wow. Yeah. You know, you took you took lemons and made lemonade. Wow. You overcame your disability and became a superstar. Now, look at you. <laughs> so... Well, that's clearly where it comes yeah. from. Yeah. They ripped him an asshole that a is... A super asshole. He has a different asshole than us. He has a super asshole. <laughs> Have you ever seen his asshole, Erica? Uh, no. You've no. never, like, given him a, 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 a rim job or anything? No. He's a super asshole. <laughs> He's got, got a bionic asshole. No. Did they have to give you, like, a crack and everything? Like, a whole... He's got a bionic I, asshole. I have seen it, and it, it doesn't look right. Really? Yes. He's got a six million dollars. It looks bizarre. Let's when you make see a, it. What the fuck does a, it look like? When you make a duty, is it normal? Yeah, it's normal. I, I actually, one time, I thought I had something, like, not natural going on there. I actually took a picture. Mm -hmm. And it looked like something out of, like, a, of a science fiction novel. It was, it was just, I don't know what it was. It looked like Siobhan's vagina. <laughs> He's the six yeah. million fart man. Yeah. But, well, th listen, this is a happy occasion. Wow. I didn't know you were born without an asshole. And this, maybe this is where it all comes from. He's got a maybe. bionic asshole. When man. you bend over and all of a sudden air just whips into your asshole, yeah. it's yeah. because you don't have a normal ass. In, in a way, scientists invented you. Right, right. Oh my God! No you're... wonder you're so good. I wonder if I you're could ask awesome. for a mic. If I have a son, could I ask for him to get this new asshole? Like, <laughs> oh, in a way, he's like future man. Like science made him better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. God. <laughs> That's amazing. We never knew that in all this time. Oh uh, really? I, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure I said something about it, but I really? think that, was, that was probably in the first time. That's I was the kind it. of thing we let pass. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know that. Uh... We didn't know you were born without an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I was in the hospital, hospital for like two years because of it. Wow. It was like a whole, it was a whole bunch of medical crap going on. Well, aren't you lucky? Yeah. They have the technology. You know how they have those big rooms in the lecture halls? They probably were wheeling him in and showing his <laughs> butt to everybody. Would you honor us in light of your, your, your now your fiance? She's accepted your, your proposal. Uh, I understand it's going to be rough going to the dad. I right. hope he accepts you. We have a new asshole we built. <laughs> you tell him. That's the institute. You tell him from me. Okay. You are a great man, and he must recognize greatness. Not that the whole world and doesn't. And you love his daughter. Yeah, and you love his. I could see the love. Yeah. Congratulations to you two. Give us one last blast, and do it on Erica, your fiance. Do it on Erica. Yeah. Here we go. She loves it. She can't get enough. <laughs> sat on her and did it. Oh. Look at this guy. Uh, he's, you know what? Uh -oh. You can tell he's happy. <laughs> Man. It's a big day. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> wow. Look at the force. Look at the For energy. the rest of your life. <laughs> this is going to be it. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, whoa. Well, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Is there an accident? Oh, no, oh. it was just, I pushed too hard that time. Yeah, well, be careful. So, you know, yeah, you're... you don't want to hurt that yeah. ass. Yeah. That's don't want to break it. <laughs> well, Super thank asshole. You, Will. Congratulations, uh, thank Erica. You. Congratulations. Thanks. It's a happy day in all of Stern Show history. When Will the Far defines love, he deserves love. You deserve love. This is a tremendous day. And Will, of course, we honor you. We speak your name. Thank you. Will the Farter, everyone, and his fiance, Erica, she's just accepted. A proposal from one of the greatest men that ever lived. He's, Will po the He's pooper man. <laughs> I love this guy. I love that guy. I think the fact that he's got a bionic asshole is just on... <laughs> the doctors were like, we, we have to rebuild this asshole. And make it better. And it took them two years to figure it out. They didn't screw around. Well, that was great. Ronnie walks into the middle of the proposal before he proposes yeah. and shows her and, the ring. And shows hands her, her the ring. ring. Yeah. How uncouth. Why was he holding the ring anyway? I don't know. It was cute. She couldn't even say yes. She was crying, so she just nodded. I know. Nodded she just yet. nodded. She couldn't speak. No, no she's unconscious. The man <laughs> farts on her. You know, the, uh, the uh, Stephen Singer Jewelers uh, put that ring together. You see that's, that rock? That's, that's very yeah. nice. Very nice. It was pretty ring. <laughs> Wow, this is huge. <laughs> yes. Eric, how are you feeling? Are you totally shocked? Yes, well, well, shocked completely. I totally uh, lied to her the whole time. <laughs> she was totally clueless. Yeah, I'm totally shocked but happy. Yeah. <laughs> and you even farted on her to sort of... Yeah, she didn't move. Yeah. the next step in your relationship. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I fart on her, but uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. This, <laughs> so. is, this is amazing. You just made history. Yes? In farting history. Farting history? I think I think it's the first time anyone proposed on our right. show. Is, am I right about that? Or? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm the show, so. Oh. You know, I'm glad to, I'm really honored to do it on the show, and uh, I, I hope she's happy. And, and I know. you revealed your uh, your medical condition. Yes, I did. You were actually born without an asshole. Without an asshole, yes. <laughs> now, Erica, does this pose as a, you know, a concern for you? No. Um, possibly for being a future parent? You know, what if you have your first son, he's born, you know, without an asshole as well? Uh, yeah, I would be honored if, as long as they have the talent he does. <laughs> yeah, really? So it's not really, it's no. not a concern for you? No, not at all. You'd be proud to have yeah. an asshole-less son. <laughs> Practice wonders, if you will. I was, called, I was called the Practice Wonders. In